these are all um, in, I think, alphabetical order. So I want to have you look at them and put them in order for me. Hello and uh, welcome to Spirit Forest. You know, every time I put up a tent, there's always some sort of drama or I forget something. Well, turns out this year is going to be no different than any other year. If you notice, it is just Kyla and I here, and uh, yeah, hopefully Kyla's strong. <laughs> She's almost as tall as me. She can do what I can do, right? So I'm actually, there's a storm coming, so I'm going to talk and work at the same time here. But um, we had some issues. Ooh. Just so you know, these things aren't that light. Um, we had some issues. So the girl's daddy was going to help in putting the, the tent up. It's nice to have another adult here. One with some man muscles, even better. But um, his car broke down on the way up here. So we left early this morning and what time is it now? It's 12.30 right now. I would have been here almost four hours or five hours ago because the storms roll into Colorado right about this time. I think that that's almost all of them. Oh yeah, we do need the tools for this. I almost forgot about that. Okay, so let me see here. Let me get in position to kind of tell you what's going on here. <sighs> Always something going on. Big cloud over here. Big, big, big cloud. <laughs> so like, I don't want to bring my tent out and put it on the deck and then this big storm comes through because these look like clouds, like a typical summer Colorado day where it's just gonna storm and blow on through. So I'm hoping that this cloud comes and just blows on through. That's my goal <laughs> for today. Um, okay, so the girl's daddy's um, car broke down. Yes, he has a 2016 car and it broke down. He's got a Jeep Cherokee and uh, engine light went on and he wasn't able to um, accelerate really. So yeah, he is, he's not in a good mood right now not in a good mood well he told me he said he could still the car still runs we went to a um a place that worked on cars but they were closed so yeah um we're just kyle and i are going to try to figure it out you know um i have no cell coverage here at all so i can't call anyone um on my way up though i did call another friend of mine and said hey you know, if you can, it would be really nice for you to come out and help me <laughs> put up my tent, you know. And I told you guys it was going to be like one of those things where it's, this is the weekend, the tent's going up. That's kind of what happened, and I feel really unprepared. Um, there's some parts to the tent that are, that are missing um, that I have that I have to create or make or something. And um, we're just gonna, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out together. You're gonna come join me today on this crazy day. I don't know how Kyla and I are gonna do it on our own, but it's a heavy tent, you know? <laughs> that means I'll be carrying most of the tent. <laughs> okay, let me get going. I wanna get, I wanna make sure that I have all the parts. Um, I have a whole bunch of videos on putting up my tent. Um, I think there's like three of them. That's a whole bunch. I have three tents, uh, three videos of putting up my tent and I'm going to link them at the end of this video because you can link videos at the end of the video. I'll link them at the end of the video. And if I remember, I'll put them in that card thing that's right here. If you guys can click on that. Um, if you really want to know the correct way to put up a tent, um, some of them are like really detailed on how I'm putting up my tent. This one's not going to be as detailed because as you could tell, I got a storm coming. I got a 12 year old only to help me figure this out. I'm going to film some of this but uh but not everything 
<laughs> and let's just hope that maybe my friend got the message and will come up here. Now it did, uh, there's a ton of traffic in the mountains getting up here. It took what normally takes about an hour, I mean two hours, took me about three and a half hours to get here. So there's just a ton of traffic. So I don't know if anyone's gonna come to help me. Um, we can do this, Kyla. Woo, there's Kyla sneaking a feet right there. <laughs> we can do this, Kyla. I know how to do this. Hopefully I have all the tools I need. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so this one is, what is this? B, B and C. Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. And then, so then we have to, we, this one we don't have lines A, up with, what was that? We don't have A. This is A right here, this is A. Oh, but that one's B, C, oh D. goodness, this is what this is what your daddy did. It's like his I gotta think kinda how what he would do. Bottom B No, bottom D. I know this bottom. one this one goes inside the tent because I painted it. This one says bottom. I know there's gotta be something that says top. I think it's this one that says top. Okay. And there's one that's missing a spike. And there's a red marker here that's worn off and we have no idea what it is. In case you're wondering, what we're trying to figure out is, is her, her daddy's way of figuring out how all this goes together. He had a certain system that he created that, and I gotta, I gotta think like him. <laughs> like how, how was he doing this? This one says top right here. Yeah. And this has two screws, so I'm guessing either one of these Going to yeah, well, I know we need to unscrew those. So we need to. Can you go get the tool bag? It's in the car. Um. Yeah, I've known him for over maybe 25 years, so I should be able to think like him, right? I should be able to think like him. I don't know. We're gonna still kind of figure. It's like a. It's like a puzzle putting these things together. I thought is that he's gonna. He's gonna name it here. So this one's gonna be A, and then you walk into the doors, that's B. And then, then C, we have another one in the middle, and B. So we have, so we can kind of maybe line them up. Now I know that with the tent, there's a hole on either side of it, so we gotta be able to put it all through the hole of the tent. How's the weather? Uh, then A's over there. And so then we have that last one. And uh, this one says... Okay, I'm going to explain in my video like why why do i have these tools this is something that i grabbed out of the girl's daddy's car he said it would be something that i need and it is it's something that i need so let me let me show you why Okay, you'll see where my beautiful Kyla is. She is right next to one of our pillars. And you'll see that I have these spikes that need to go through. And they actually fit perfectly into a hole. And I, I'm laughing at the word perfectly because that's actually the longest time it takes to put up the tent is putting these little spikes through that hole. And Kyla just pointed out too that this one is a bit crooked. Um, we also need to put these together as well. Um, this goes, this screws into this board. And then you'll see over here, there is a missing spike. So I'm gonna need a spike right there. And there's another missing spike that goes right here. And I am told that it takes a lot of energy to cut these. Is it the same size? That was another issue we were thinking yeah. too, that it wouldn't be the same size. Same size. Oh, that's good. He was only guessing what size it was. That's pretty good. It's a good thing your, your daddy's a genius, Kyla. Okay, so let's measure those and start cutting those up. Just want to loosen it first. Yeah. Okay, she's gonna unbolt all of these so we can take this off and then we're going to end up sliding this thing inside there but we also i think we have to get the tent up here soon and um 
clouds are looking okay. <laughs> I think if it rains, it's just going to rain and we'll just grab a tarp really fast or something and try to put as much over as we can. Okay, that was a lot of work, I guess. <laughs> That was a lot of work to cut these and I hope they're the right size. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick these in so now that we have those spikes inside some of those and then, man, that cloud just keeps getting darker. I'm wondering if I should just wait to bring the tent. Um, I think I'll put these in and then I'll decide, but that cloud right behind me. It doesn't look dark in the camera, but... It's dark. It's dark. Yeah. It's got some moisture in it. Okay, we can do this, Kyla. We can do it. <laughs> you getting in your too? For some reason, I'm getting an alert. It says that the county's requiring face masks. An audit came to my phone. I didn't think I had coverage. Okay, we're. I don't know. I know this tent will be fine in the rain for a little bit. You know. So we're going to. See if I can move the tent on my own. <laughs> okay, let me show you. This is the tent, this big bad boy right here, which we did not put together very well because if you saw last year's video or if you've been watching and following my journey, we had a huge amount of hornets that attacked us while we were taking down the tent last year. And so that is the reason why that this thing was not put together right because we were doing as fast as we could to get the thing to um, end the car and out of here. Um, well, um, behind Kyla, let's show them. Here, you have to get out, I think. Oh, Right here is our tarp. Now, I can't remember, and I'm not trying to exaggerate or anything like that. I am telling you, this is heavy. This is about 170 pounds. Now, I don't know exactly, but I'm going to guess 170 pounds is this tent. So moving this tent is going to take every bit of energy I have. <laughs> Shall we start? Oh. I don't know how I'm going to move it. i got to think about this. Wait, I'll try and push it and move oh. forward. Okay, it might be better for you to be on this side pulling and me to push it because I think pushing might be harder. Right, you want to try it? Oh, that worked. Let's try to get it out as much as I can here. Okay, ready? One, two. Okay, now come back over here and I'll try to get it under it. You see, being a female, <laughs> you gotta be creative. <laughs> we don't have those muscles you men have. <sighs> okay, um, actually let's turn it around. So that way that's, yeah. And then I'm gonna pull it and I'm hoping it's gonna get in there because I don't think I can lift it in there. Okay, get it, try to get it under it. I Keep coming. That's fine. Okay. Is it on it? Just keep that, keep that um, wagon straight up and down. Okay, I'm trying to record this whole experience for you guys so you can see if two girls can do this. Just, I'll tell you after. It's on your left. I wonder. Okay, we can do this. Just think about it. Okay. Okay, keep try to keep it level. Okay?
Okay, we are sitting on my precious tent. This is my absolute favorite tent that I own, most expensive tent I own, and the hardest tent to put up. But I've become a tent girl on uh, YouTube, so we're gonna try to get this tent up. So I am sweating. It is hot, you guys, and it, you're gonna laugh at me because hot to me is 70 degrees. <laughs> It's hot. You probably feel nice and cool. So if it does rain, it's actually gonna feel really good. Like, it's gonna rain though. And I just decided that, you know what? I'm getting this tent up. If it rain, sunshine, whatever. Kyla's got some muscles in there. We're, <laughs> we can do this. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna roll it out is what we need to do and then we need to do like the ridge pull that goes across the tent that's the first thing that we put in the tent and set up that's a lot of work um, because it takes a lot of tools that I don't have and we're improvising with what I got so um, again I will record this for you guys because I think you might want to see this <laughs> if you just want to like fast forward through some of this feel free this is YouTube. You are able to move that slider and fast forward and see if we actually did it or not. Or you can actually enjoy the journey with us and see, <laughs> see if we did it. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I wish we, we should like mark something. This is a, this is a wall right here. Cause that's the green zone, the wall. Mm -hmm. So that means. Okay, those of you that are familiar with my tent, um, you'll see these rails on the side right here. Those are rails that we, we tie the sides of the tent up on those rails. I don't know where that rope is. I'm thinking it's on the, I'm thinking it might be on the tarp, which is not good. And I wasn't thinking then, because it should be on the tent, not the tarp, because the tarps later, not at the beginning. So I gotta go get the, I gotta go get the tarp now, which I think that one for sure is about 70 pounds. Still heavy, but not as heavy as the tent. <laughs> okay, we found them. They weren't in the tarp, but I got the, I got the tarp here. Same way I did the tent. Didn't need to record that, but um, it was inside, the ropes were inside there. You know, I do videos so that I would go look back at the video before putting the tent up again. Yeah, that never happens. So uh, I have no internet here and I can't see it. So um, we are going to tie up the sides. Do we do that before we put the ridge pole on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's do that. We're making our own decisions. So Kyla and I were unrolling this tent here and there was bee carcasses everywhere. It was just crazy. Like, I wasn't kidding. When we were putting this, this um, tent away, we were being attacked by a bunch of bees. So this is actually really, uh, this is really hard. It's really heavy. I hope Kyla can lift it. You're going to have to, like, really dig deep, Kyla. I worked on my muscles. Yes. Yeah, really dig deep. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, and I'm not gonna show, I'll just show a little bit so you can kind of get an idea. We're gonna tie these little clips right here to this the, to the side up here. So we'll tie them all the way along, along this this edge right here. The longer ones are the better ones, just so you know. Those are the ones that I want. Thank you. 
So Kyle and I are strategizing what we're gonna do. Let me show you what I have done. I have the tent tied up on all the sides here. And uh, now I need to put the, the ridge pole. Um, there's a hole here, let me show you. You see this hole? That's where the ridge pole's gonna go through. So I'm going to be inside the tent a lot of the time. And uh, do you remember those, those metal squares and those, um, uh, uh, those uh, metal things? Spikes. I'm going to end up putting it all together. I'm going to try to film some of it. We'll see if it works. I don't know. Um, Kyle and I are debating. I'll get Kyle in the shot here. Um, we're just thinking. If we just, she thinks she's strong enough to be able to lift it with a tarp up on it too. I don't know, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm not sure. We're not sure. But she thinks she might be able to lift it up even with the tarp. I'm thinking of putting the tarp over it now and then lifting it up. Some of the hardest times putting this tent up is to put the tarp up after you put the tent up because then you got to put the tarp over it. Now the manufacturer that made this tent says that that's how they recommend to do it is to go ahead and put the tarp um, on it after you put the tent up. I don't think that's the best way to do it, but um, I don't know. Right now, we're just gonna try to get the tent up, see if she can do it. If it's really easy for her, maybe we'll put the tarp on top and then put it up with the tarp on it. Is it raining? No. It's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. Okay, so we're gonna get started and I'll try to record some so you can see this cool adventure we're on. Well, I gotta put this in and then I gotta put the two, two parts together. Do you want? And then we'll go, then we'll work on the other side. in your pocket. Um, yeah. Probably. Here's my keys too. Don't let me, don't let me lose those. Like slightly attach just, it and we'll tie These are just two, way. right? I only need two of them right now. Actually, you know what? I have, I have trusty pockets. There we go. <laughs> just put them all in there. I'm going to need all the wrenches and stuff too. But let's just get it in there first. Action. Action. Okay, we're almost there. Getting the ridge pole. This has always been a working on this ridge pole has always been the hardest part of this tent, you know? And it's like you only do it once, so you're never really thinking about making it easier. And the only tools I have is this needle nose plier, is that what that is? And this tool. And it's not I can't hold it. Oh, I have no idea. Okay, you hold you screw this and I'll hold the bottom. Hold on. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. It's not. I'm trying to take you guys along, but this is what it's like. You're just like underneath the tent. Um okay, you ready for the next one? Making sure you guys can still see. Oh hold on, wait, I'm not. I'm just okay. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, wait. Oh, it's so much work, you guys. I might consider taking a camping shower. I don't care. I am so hot right now. It's like really hot inside there. It's like really, it's just hot. So, um, Ky Kyla and I are going to do a test trial to see if we can get it up. Now, there's something I can't do. Um, I'm going to show you. You see that little junction there, that, that corner? That is actually supposed to be inside the tent. And for the life of me, I can't pull that. So I'm going to grab some paracord. There's an actual little hole, rig um, uh, grommet right there. And then I'm just going to tie it over to here. Oh, we need to put that, that one, this seemed to have slid, huh? Uh -huh. See if it goes back in. That one was easy. Um, the other ones were so much work to have them go back in. Um, just hammering and banging on them get, to get them to go in. Um, but I'm going to get a, 
I'm gonna get a paracord and just tape it. I this is still good. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Um, I mean, it's just it's gonna be on the outside, which it it's never been on the outside. Um, there's something again that manpower that's been able to stretch this Honestly, what I think is the hole this little um, where the stake is at is in the wrong place I really need it to be about three inches that way and it wouldn't be that hard at all And I think it would offer the same amount of security on the tent <sighs> I'm gonna take a little breather I get some water and then I'm gonna film our little um, Try out we're gonna try to put this thing up and if it's really easy for Kyla, then we will put the tarp on it and try it. Okay, I'm gonna crawl back in the tent. You see Kyla right, right there? She's gonna be on that one that's on the outside. It's safer for her. This, again, this tent's about 170 pounds, but by tying it on the ends, it makes it less. Wish me luck, I have no idea. This is a trial run just to kind of see how it's gonna go. Um, I have a pole in the middle and a pole on either side of the tent. And if this goes well, then we'll put the tarp on. If not, uh, we'll wait, we'll, we'll figure something else out. <laughs> okay. Gather all my, all my strength. Okay. Okay, Kyle. I'm going in. I'll count to three like I do. Okay. Oh. Okay, come on down. Look at my hair. That didn't work. I have a different idea. I'm gonna try to wedge it up. Again, there's a ridge pole that goes across. And I can get it up to about here, but I can't push up the tent any higher than that. Ooh, that muscle hurts already. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try something else. This does tell me I don't think we're putting a tarp on it. No. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try something different. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little five minute break, <laughs> and then uh. We'll try it again. All right. I don't know how many times it's gonna take me to get this done. But uh, I'm gonna try to wedge that ridge pole. My hair. <laughs> what? Anyways, I'm gonna try to wedge the ridge pole onto this and see if I can get it to be up a little bit more and then use my energy to bring it up even further but I want to see if I can get this tent up so <clears throat> I'm not going to give up right now I'm going to try and uh, maybe my friend got my message and we'll be here hopefully hopefully I need I need I need muscle <laughs> no offense Kyla you you got a lot of muscle <laughs> okay let's try this again Kyla Get in position. Anymore. 
It's one heavy tent. I don't feel like Kyla's. I don't feel like I feel like I'm lifting the entire tent on my own. I can't do that. I can't lift the entire tent on my own. That's 170 pounds. I weigh 135. Well, 140 actually after a quarantine. I'm thinking of other ideas that I can do. I'm wondering if I can just get this ridge pole up a bit. You know, if I can just get it elevated, then maybe I can lift it a bit further. Um, you know, I always get people that tell me that I need to have some sort of like a cranking thing on my trees. Um, I honestly don't see how that would work on these trees. Um, I have thought about it. I have listened to your comments. Um, it just really comes down to I don't think I can put this tent up myself, but I'm not going to give up yet. I'm still going to keep trying and hope my friend shows up. It's one of those years, isn't it? Isn't it just... so close. I can't do it on my own. I can't. I can't be the only power to pull it up. My pole's moving hers. Is, it's not. It's too heavy for her. It's too heavy. I need hers to go up like just six inches. I'm almost there. You see my tripod? 
Yeah. Do you hear the do you hear the do you hear the raven? It's telling me to not quit. There's gotta be another idea I can do. I think I'm gonna make another tripod because that worked out pretty well. We got it up faster by having that tripod there. I think I'm going to put another tripod on the other side. And then that might help her a little bit too. I just, I can't lift it all by myself. Okay, I'm just thinking it's going to be a long video. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. Like, all my nails broke. Not that I'm a nail kind of girl or anything like that, but every one of them broke. Okay. Plan E. <laughs>
I'll just take a picture of you because I'm going to take a picture of you. Don't mind that. Oh. Long day. <laughs> Let's see what time it is. Um, 6.30 right now. And I started at 8.30. I, well, that's when I left my house in the city. And uh, now we're here. Why don't you sit next to me, Kyla? Tent is up, as you saw. And... Uh, is it next to me? And it was, it was crazy. I could not, for the life of me, get that tent up on my own. I tried every muscle in my body to get that tent up. And as you saw, I tried tripods and trying to get the tent already lifted up. I just, part of it, it's not, I'm not tall enough. <laughs> I feel that's what this part of it was. Um, my friend did show up, so when you did see the tent go up, it wasn't just us. <laughs> we were celebrating, literally, when he started pulling up. We were totally celebrating. <laughs> what do you think, Kyla? Mm -hmm. oh. yeah, like, Our savior. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, ah, I would marry him today if he asked me. <laughs> but tomorrow, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so happy. I'm so happy he came to the rescue. I really am. It is so nice to have good people in your life. I Just good people. It took him. He's not here now. Um, but what did he say? It took him like almost four hours to get here. Isn't that crazy? And, um, you know, the girl's daddy, they... Um, his car broke down. He called up my friend too. They were both talking. He said, oh, he thinks his car is fixed now. So they both came up together and then her dad, her, her dad's car broke again. Um, and so he went back down to the city. So I'm sure he's having a lot of drama right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. What a year. What a year. I should have expected this, you know, but the tent's up and I am so excited. You excited? Mm -hmm. What movie are you going to watch tonight? I don't know. We have so many choices. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so much fun, you guys.
So to celebrate the tent being up, we have not only one chocolate chip cookie, we have two chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> that is my celebration towards getting the tent up. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, in the future videos, you're going to see me in the tent. You're going to see some of my kids are going to come up every once in a while. We're going to explore the mountains. We're going to be building a cabin. Like, we got so much going on this year. It's going to be crazy. Oh, we're going rafting too. Actually, we've already gone rafting because by the time this video is posted, I think we've already gone rafting. So, yes, so very excited. This is gonna be a fun summer. Even if the world has changed, I refused to make it a bad summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye bye. Bye. No! Stop eating my cookie! What are you doing? <laughs> you're, like, you're like gum in your cookie. Hmm? You're like gum in it. No teeth. What do you mean? You're licking my cookie. <laughs> oh, before I stop this video really fast, I know I'm going to get asked a lot, and I have been asked a lot, Am I going to be putting this tent up when I have my cabin? I bet you're wondering that answer. I get asked that all, almost on a weekly basis now. <laughs> so I'm like, I better record that answer so then people know. Um, it will be up again next year and because the cabin won't be done next year. And I think the first year that the cabin is fully done, I'm not going to have the tent up, but I'm debating on that. It will depend on my classes and stuff. Um, but I think that I'll take a year off. Now again, that won't be next year, so that's 2022. I think I might take a year off of having the tent up. Um, as you see, it is a lot of work to take this tent up. I got to get a committee of people coming here. It's, it's a lot of work. And I think it'd be nice one year just to not have it up. Um, and maybe that year I go more backpacking and um, do more different types of activities. So that is in um, 2022. I think I might not have it up. I don't know. I don't know. My life might be totally different then, but my plan when my cabin is up is to have the tent up too. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have it every year, but um, every year that I'm teaching, I do plan on having the tent up. So um, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what the future is and what, what's, what's to hold and what's coming up because I don't even know myself, you know? I really don't. So um, there's your answer. Is that answered enough? Hopefully that answers it for you. So thanks again. And again, thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.